Oh, hi, huh, damn. Look at that slender mud kip. This is my real face. Hey guys, what's up? It's Queen Spikeups here, and welcome to a Minecraft mod video. Yes, sir, it has been quite a while since I have last done one of these videos. Uh, actually, I think since 1.5.2 or something like that. Uh, so it's been a while, but guys, I am back. I have missed doing these, and I've just kind of got the motivation to get some of these suckers done, yo. So I hope you guys are excited for me coming back with some more Minecraft mods video. Today, we're going to be coming at you live with the Slenderman mod. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, for those who don't know what the Slenderman mod is, let me read you a little bit of a description of what the mod is, as told by the Minecraft forum topic, which you guys can find down below. Let me read this in epic voice. <coughs> Throughout the eight, no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Throughout the ages, the mysterious entity known as the Slenderman has invaded people's minds, art, and stories. He has abducted numerous children, killed countless souls, and driven many to insanity. <laughs> and now he's invaded Minecraft. This mod is not for the light-hearted. The Slenderman is a terrifying creature, capable, capable of teleportation, disappearing, and making you your pants. It actually says, legitim it legitimately says in the mod... <laughs> In the mod description, it says, making you your pants. I'll put, like, a link or something, or not a link, but I'll put a little image. It legitimately says, making you your pants. So I guess he's actually a seamstress as well. He's going to make me some pants. That's right, Slenderman. Pure cotton, 100% cotton. None of that polyester bull crap. I ain't into that. Uh, but yeah, guys, we got the Slenderman mod. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let's just get on to this. Before, before we actually summon Slenderman in, though, because we're going to have to kill him. We have to show you a few of the items and recipes and the like that come along with this mod. So there is a actual full item set that you can wear, and we'll show you how to wear that in just a second. Uh, it is the slender suit, slender mask, slender trousers, and slender shoes. He's going to make me his pants, or my pants, or something. <laughs> Um, to make the slender suit, as you can see, five diamonds, one child soul, which you can, which, well, Slenderman drops. I mean, child soul, that's a little bit creepy, but I guess that's the whole idea. You know, Slenderman stealing souls and whatnot. So you get one child soul, two pieces of wool. It doesn't matter what type. I just use light blue and orange as an example to show that you don't really need to have any type. And a piece of redstone. That makes it a slender suit. Four child souls, four pieces of leather, and one gas tier makes you a slender mask. Three diamonds, two or, or two wool of any type, and two child souls make it the trousers. Two diamonds, one child soul, and two pieces of leather makes it the boots. Now the cool thing about this armor is that it is completely the same strength as diamond, I believe. I'm pretty sure. But it does have some extra effects uh, that only apply to Slender, which are... The Slender Mask will actually add uh, an, an effect onto you, which will stop Slenderman from being all meanie butts and adding all these ill effects. So normally when Slenderman spawns, which you guys will see in just a second, it's Slenderman or Slenderman. I can't really... I don't really know. But either way, normally when he spawns... Whoa, I'm flying now. <laughs> Normally when he spawns, he uh, and when you look at him and get in his range and stuff, he has an 80% chance to give you blindness and nausea, all the poopy stuff that you kind of associate with Mr. Slenderman or Slenderman. Um, so that puts that percentage down to 5%, which is extra helpful when you're trying to kill the sucker. Along with that, guys, you do have the suit, but you also have the Slenderman sword or the Slender sword. It's made of two pieces or four pieces of obsidian, two on each side, two child souls, and a diamond. Now, the child souls are really hard to get. You have to kill them to get them, basically. You gotta do it. Gotta kill them. Gotta get them. Gotta go fast. But yeah, you gotta kill him to get them. And, uh, I mean, it's it's kind of dangerous to try and kill him. I gotta say it's dangerous. Um, now, there's a couple different ways you can get Slenderman. You can be a cheater like me and... Oh, actually, there's Masky. But I don't know what he does. I'll talk about him in a second. To get Slenderman, you can either have a Slenderman egg or you can make yourself a shrine. Now, to make a Slender Shrine, um, I think you have to find this. It's a building block. I have no idea where you find it. It's a Slender Spawner. Um, maybe you just have to creative mode it and you need two pieces of obsidian. So what you got to do to make a slender spawner is you simply put down the two pieces of obsidian. I'm going to put them away from the chest. I don't know why, but two pieces of obsidian down like you're building a snowman and then drop yourself the spawner on top. And as you see there in the bottom left, there's some creepiness going on. 
I don't even know what that means, but basically what it means is that during nighttime, uh, Slenderman will start spawning everywhere. So if you break it, this is only the beginning, blah, 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 down in the bottom left. Creepy, creepy stuff. Uh, so Slenderman should spawn then. You can also find those shrines all around the world, supposedly. I think they can be above ground, below ground, around town, all that kind of stuff. Basic idea though is, guys, you gotta find them. Well, that's a lot of fucking horses. Are these horses? Holy crap, are you guys seeing how many horses there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, and they're pretty too. I would totally pet these guys in real life. Maybe feed them some random food like carrots and strawberries. I don't know. Do, do horses like strawberries? I feel like that's an important piece of information to find out. Because if you don't know, well, it's what if did you go to feed them strawberries? Just never mind, okay. So let's get on. To Slenderman. Oh yeah, guys, before we get on to Slenderman, I forgot to say the Slender Sword does bonus uh, damage versus Slenderman. I believe it has the same strength as Diamond, but it also applies a poison. So let me see if we can find a normal mob to just attack. Uh, it's pretty useful against mobs like the Enderman, which will teleport away as well. And it should apply poison, shouldn't it? Or am I dreaming? You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Apparently, it's supposed to apply poison. Maybe I am dreaming. And it does no damage to pigs. It really only does stuff to the Enderman. As you see, Diamond Sword, like two hits and he's dead, right? But Slender Sword, not as strong. Slender Sword is for Slenderman. Use it to handle Slenderman. Basically, that's the idea. Um, and oh, before we get on to Slenderman, I know, I know, I'm delaying, I'm delaying, I'm delaying. He's just a little spooky. We're going to talk about masking. I have no idea what the fudge this guy is. But um, it's just, it's a spawn egg that I found. I don't know if it's a part of Slenderman or what. I don't know if like moving, to, let's see what happens when we move to creative mode or like survival mode. Oh my God, he's attacking me. Stop that. Stop that, you little bugger. Okay, we're going to just use a normal diamond sword. He doesn't really do anything, but what the fudge? I don't understand why he's in the mod. I don't know who he is. Why is his name Masky? And why did I just want to kill him like I really wanted to? Uh, Slenderman, let's just get onto that. Fine, Slenderman. Stop bugging me, zombies. I'm trying to fight the Slenderman. Stop it. So as you guys can see, we have Slenderman Summon. We need to make sure that we had that obsidian thing created, the Slenderman Summoner. Otherwise, he's... Oh my god, what? Why are you teleporting? I'm in creative mode, you dick. As you can see, in creative mode, he still moves slowly toward us. Uh, as we move farther away from him, the static goes away as does the sound. Oh, shit. We lost track of him. That is not good. Wait, why? Okay. Oh, hey. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. So, as you can see, as we get closer to him, it gets louder and harder to see. Until we hit him and knock him away. He's just pretty creepy. Um, what we're going to do, though, guys, we're going to... Oh, that's a noise. Uh-oh. Let's kill this guy first. Oh, boy. That's loud. We're going to switch back to... Survival mode, right up here. Now, as we stare at him, he cannot jump anywhere. That's the important thing. But if we look away, he's going to start jumping around, and that's not going to be good for us. So, let's just go hit him once. Dick. Okay, now look away. Uh oh, he's still there. Why is he just standing still? Come on, you dick. Come and attack me. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Give me bad times. Why isn't he, like, doing anything? He's supposed to, like, teleport at us. Or something. If we look away. It sounds like he was trying to teleport. Let's summon another one. Screw it. Oh, God. This one did the same thing? Or really teleport around? Why aren't they teleporting? <gasps> oh, it's because I have the mask on. Oh, snap. Okay, guys. One thing we're going to do. We're going to give ourselves... A normal diamond helmet just to make sure that we're actually strong. Wait, did I miss it? I completely did. Okay, guys. Now they should start teleporting around probably. Right? Oh, yeah. One of them did. Oh, boy. There he is. Oh, boy. No, no, no. No, no. That's not cool. Where are you? Where? There's two of them now. This is not cool. Where are they? I hear them. Ah! Get away from me. Get away from me, spider. Stop bugging me. No, thank you. Oh, boy. Kill him. Kill him. Kill oh, boy. Oh, boy. Where'd he go? This is the effects that he does. He does these effects. Ah! There's two of them. This is not cool. We killed one. Thank God. Where's the other one? There? No. Over here? 
I can't see him. Where is he? This is not cool at all. Wait, where? Oh boy. Okay. If we stare at him, he shouldn't be able to move like that, the dick. Ah! Where'd he go? Is he over this direction? Ah! I don't understand why he's not making my screen fuzzy, though. That's a little weird. He should be able to do that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stop hitting me, please. Ow. He does a lot of damage. Stop it, skeleton. I'm tired of your shit. Get out of here. Ow, dick. Get out of here. Slenderman. Where'd you go? Please, can I kill you? Please? Please, where'd he go? Where'd he go? See, I'm hearing the static, but I'm not seeing any static, which is weird. He should be giving me lots of static. Get over here and die, you butthole. Why is he not dying at all? Like, holy shit, he's strong. Did I do something? Yes! And we didn't get any child souls, which is a little annoying. But you know what? Fuck it, we killed the Slenderman. And then we gotta come up here, I suppose, and kill this thing. How are we gonna do that? We just punch it? I don't think we're supposed to. Okay, well, either way, that's Slenderman. As you can see, I had to take off the helmet to actually make it so that he summoned, which is a little annoying. But uh, basic idea is there. He's going to come after you as soon as one of these is in the world. Though they do spawn randomly, I believe. Um, and if they don't, well, plant it by, like, your enemy's house. Because I think you can actually use this... What the fuck? Whenever I hit R, it, like... What is it doing? Whenever I hit R, what what's happening? What is that, guys? What am I... What? What is... F is zoom. What's R? I don't know what R is doing to me, but it's weird and I don't want to do it anymore. Okay. Uh, that I'm sorry for getting off track, but uh, yeah, Slenderman mod. That's it. You you summon the Slenderman, you kill him, and you get his items. He has to drop the, the child soul things. They're pretty hard to kill, so you know getting this equipment will be hard. But once you get it, you can kill more of them pretty easily using the Slender Sword. And, I mean, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I know this was a little bit disorganized, but, um, I mean, getting Slender to work was a bit of a <laughs> bit of a hassle. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video, though. And if you did, please make sure to slap that like button with you to give Flippa, especially to show some support for bringing back the awesome mod reviews. Other than that, my name is Question Kips, and I will see you later, you sexy kippers. Da -da -da, belly rubs for everybody! Oh, guys, another thing. I forgot to mention that uh, Machinima has put together this interesting new series film show majigger called power inside now get this it's about a global invasion of aliens that come to earth and control your mind by attaching to your face as either a unibrow or a mustache so i gotta say go and check this out there's a lower little uh graphic here annotation thing go and check it out and tell them that husky mud sent you with your camera flipper